The component diagram is another standard UML diagram that's supported by Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate Edition. And it works as you would expect a UML component diagram to work. Um, we get a toolbox and a design surface just like we would in any other Visual Studio designer so we can quickly build these component diagrams. Let's jump ahead and look at a component diagram that we've already created. Component diagrams give us a static view of our system. It's ideal to combine that static view with a view of how our system behaves. It's a dynamic view so what we can do is create lifelines inside of a sequence diagram in this project. When we create this lifeline, we're linking to a sequence diagram. With the sequence diagram, we can describe the, how the components interact. Again, with the sequence diagram, we have a toolbox and design surface. Lastly, application lifecycle management is an integrated part of everything in Visual Studio 2010. So we can choose a component and link work items directly to that. When we do that, we can see the icon that identifies that there are work items associated with this component. This enables anyone on our team to quickly see, okay, what's the status of this component, how has it been implemented, how has it been tested. Thank you.